Hi guys, and I am back with another video. How are you? How are you? How are you? Good evening, good morning, good night, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome, 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 welcome. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. This is my Monday video, except for it's Sunday night. Um, thought I'd get a little jump on it. I have some things to do this week, but I wanted to take time to talk with you. So, you know, I'd like to start off with an angel card. So we'll get off started with an angel card. But before I do, I want to show you this. This is a music box. I can't play the music. It's um, Karen Carpenter. If you remember the Carpenters from 60s, 70s, um, this is close to you um, by the Carpenters. I loved the Carpenters. Can I just say that to you? And so this is from Camille. It plays the music inside, has a twist underneath that closes up. She had this custom made for me for Christmas and she's got it engraved and it says, Mom, I love you so much. You're an amazing person. Love your favorite daughter. <laughs> and I just laugh because um, they're all my favorite daughters, but yeah that little that little one although she's the little big one of us all uh camille's really five nine so she is a very tall girl that i'm under her five seven and then everyone else including my husband goes down from there so i'm very grateful for her um she just is so important in my life um as well as you you guys i miss you every time i'm gone i miss you guys and wondering what you're doing and all of that so oh fyi um don't forget to look in the community board. I opened up to get you registered for class if you're interested in the advanced to row class, which I've shared with you in a couple of videos. I'll talk about it a, a few more times. The class starts January 24th. That is a Sunday. It's 8 p.m. Eastern time. It'll be about somewhere between 60 and 90 minutes, um, depending on how we're flowing. So we're going to look at, we're going to go past the basic. In the basic class, you remember we taught you about the cards and practicing shuffling and pulling one card a day and now you're going to be doing um pulling five cards a day and pulling it in the morning and then see whatever that reading says journaling in it the card and what it meant to you and see how your life reflected what happened you will be amazed we'll be doing things like that but i've got a fantastic way for you to be able to look at the cards and know what that card means um, without even having a book with you or any of that. It is fantastic technique. I'm excited to show you. Included with that, I'm going to, we'll talk about it when we start the class. We want to pick one day that we can spend together. And this is optional, by the way, the second day of class. Um, we'll pick a day we can spend together. Um, we can be meditative. We can be still. We can talk about our dreams. We can talk about um, UFO experiences. We can talk about um, any type of um, intuitive impressions and hits that you've gotten over the week or even in your lifetime that you haven't gotten a chance to share. Because if you're like me, um, <clears throat> the, I call myself pretty normal, um, but I say pretty normal. I don't know. I don't know if normal is good. I don't want to really want to be too normal, but um, a lot of times you don't have a lot of people talk to, about that with. You know, you've got that one or two girlfriend or guy friend or maybe your kid or something like that. But nobody understands it better than when we come together as a group and we share those experiences that other people can relate to and say, oh, my goodness, that that happened to me, too. Um, yeah, so we'll be doing that. That'll be an optional portion of it. So um, if you are interested, email me. That'll be down below. Put a yes in the body of the email. We will send you a um, information sheet, which will tell you your next steps. Once you get registered for the class, we will send you a welcome letter, and um, it's on from there. It'll start January 24th, Sunday, 8 p.m., and it'll be finished February 28th, also Sunday to Sunday, every Sunday through there. And then together as a group, we'll pick what optional day It'll be the same optional day. We'll come up with a collective decision what day works for most everyone and a time. Okay, so let's pick an angel card for the week. And 
and we've got Gaia. I like that. Gaia, Earth Connection. And this is perfect because it's time for us to get down to business, get back to Earth, get in touch with things that are more important than, you know, the whole Trump mess and, and these radical groups and all of those type of things. It says Earth Connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth and stay grounded. And that is so important because here's the deal. If we are constantly in worry or in fear, you know, that false evidence appearing real fear, that we're, we're generating that out into the atmosphere, into the Earth itself, and it only comes back to us. What you give out comes back to you. And so... Gaia is asking us to get connected to the earth. If you're someplace where you can walk and have your shoes off, do that. Or lay down in your grass, do that. If you're not, get out and bundle up and get a coat on. Um, last night, I, I went out and took my dog. It was about 9.30 last night. Took my German Shepherd. With my, she's very protective of me, so I didn't have any concerns. And I took her down the, the block and back just to breathe some fresh air and to just be in touch with nature and feel the cold on my cheeks connect to earth um it's time that's what gaia says and i think by us connecting with earth and bringing positivity not only do we heal the earth we heal ourselves and we heal the people around us it's time to get out of this crazy cycle of fear 2020 2020 has been incredible as it comes to fears. So today, now that I speak about fears, I'm gonna talk about Trump signed the funding, right? And so what inspired me was someone wrote me and asked me, why did he do that? You know, they were wondering, did he get, do they have something on him or anything like that? It's not that, it's not that, <clears throat> but I'm gonna verify, verify with my card. My Bing was, oh, payback i don't know if you guys have ever heard that term payback or payback is a mother payback that means paying somebody back for something they did to you okay so in order to make it hard for us his own trumpsters us who didn't vote for him uh, different cities and states especially swing states democratic states uh, which then would include uh, Republican states, states as well. There's payback for him. That is him. And so he is an individual that takes joy and pleasure out of seeing other people suffer. He'll pretend he doesn't. He'll, he'll have, he has that duality, that two-faced, that says on one hand, I'm a nice guy, I'm cool, I'm this and that. On the other hand, on the other hand he's plotting something else. So he was always going to sign it. He was going to sign it in his time. He's at that spoiled brat point that says, you're not going to make me eat my spinach. Okay, so let's see. Why did Trump change his mind to sign the bill? Why did Trump change his mind to sign the bill? Ah, we have the six of wands in reverse saying that the, he was very irresponsible. This is what he is right now. Very irresponsible, not being brave enough or caring enough to take care of anyone. Upright, this is the celebrated person. He's gone to victory for us. This, you ran away. You ran away. You left. You didn't want to be bothered with that mess. Yeah. What's crossing him is the devil we're not afraid we're not i mean we're not afraid either but we're not surprised the devil speaks of him well on one hand maybe being pressured by people but i don't think so i think that he is so addicted to power and any other substances that he wasn't even really paying that much attention about it i think there was another piece of legislation that he didn't really read into and just came out with a random number as if it was a business and this is what raise we're going to give people and this tells me that he is lost with it okay if you look at the devil he's sitting on a small box, black box and that tells me that this although it is the devil um they've made it uh they've made it so that it is very exaggerated the devil has the chicken feet and the the um 
the hairy like legs and then this crazy face and exaggerated wings and on all of that and it's someone who is there to scare us and that's what he wanted to be able to scare us and make us feel that he was a dictator and he had control but what he had was very little information that's why the box was so small very little information but he felt he had control over us okay when at any time we can say you know what it's whatever it's whatever but that's him wanting to be oppressive not just to the people in the white house but the people in general yeah um he's got the death in reverse i'm gonna tell you something it doesn't even matter uh what happens with biden or anything else he's never going to change this should be a blessing when you see this card about transforming from what you used to be into what you are now he's never going to change there's nothing about him that's going to change and make him a better person or give him an aha moment nothing not at all he doesn't even care about that very unhappy right i mean it's hard for the sun to be bad sun is good even if it's in reverse it's not quite as good but it's still good in the past he was definitely happier in the past pre-presidential pre-president or going out into the rallies that made him the fastest and now he's having to try to hold in his anger and hold in these rash decisions that he's making that's what strength says he's going to have to muster his way through these last few weeks he's got the magician card that says well i'm i'm, I'm the president i can make it happen we see right now that there is nobody else around him this is him um, this is Mercury. This is, says that um, as above, so below. It says that I've got everything. I've got some intelligence. I've got energy. I've got money. I've got people that love what I'm doing. I've got a wand in my hand. The only thing is the magician in the sense of him means I can do this on my own or I cannot do this on my own. It is my decision. I'm doing what I want to do. Yeah, and he got people. he got people worked up. And he got the wish card on that. He got people worked up and afraid. And he did, really does not want to see people happy with it. But here people are. This is what's around him. Everyone's happy and celebratory. Oh, he did it. He did it. He did it. He was going to always do it. But if you, he can get you upset and afraid, then that's what he was going to do. So now we've got the King of Cups. That's him feeling like okay i've got you where i want you i've got you feeling a certain way i'm feeling a certain way um he is a gemini and this would be indicative of a water sign but we don't really look at it like this has to be a water sign it's the energy of it and so that's him he's wishing that people loved him he's wishing that people had voted for him he wants this like devotion about him that's in his wish spot in his wish place and he would like to have that but it's not the case and so what did he do he ran out and took care of what he was supposed to this is the knight of wands and this speaks to him more so very immature supposed to be a grown man this is a young man immature rushing in at the last minute to sign something i think we had until saturday to have it signed or people weren't going to get their extension and their unemployment and all those things and he went rushing in um, not even taking the time to read the instructions, so to speak. He doesn't care about any of that. Listen, guys, this person has no care for humanity, humans, any of the the rest. That's what I'm telling you. He has no care for none of that. Yeah. For him, I just took out a couple extra cards for him. Okay. So now he's got the Ace of Wands. Cut to the chase, right? The Ace of Cups are in the verse that any love or whatever is falling away from him. There are many people, whether you know them or you don't, who are changing their hearts and their minds about their devotion to Trump. People with getting clearer minded. They're going to some that will never. I've got a neighbor that still has his Trump sign in the yard, Trump pins and his Christmas decoration. But there are, they are changing their mind. He's lost his... Um, will to fight <laughs> i guess there's nothing left for him there's no other creative imaginative anything that's going to change the election or turn the election over there's nothing that he can do 
and he will continue to be carried with the burdens. Here with the burdens is uh, the ten of, ten of Wands. The burdens are coming to an end. You're going to be able to drop a lot of the, your burdens and worries. He will not. He will walk out of office completely burdened down because so much more is opening up. There's so much more that's going to happen with um, with not only things inside the presidency and the stealing of the monies and stuff like that, but things that were going on prior to the presidency that he was protected from to begin with. So um, that is him. That is why he rushed out and signed. It had nothing to do with anybody blackmailing him or had some secrets on him. You do know they used to call him Teflon Don. My New Yorkers and my New Jerseys, you already know that. They called him Teflon Don. And so everything slips and slides off of him. That is still the truth today. He signed because he wanted to sign. He rushed in and did it because he was on the clock. He didn't sign because if that could get you up in arms, if that could get you worked up, then that's what he did. Think of all the times that he would give these inflated stories and get people uh, worked up and then walk it back. That's what he does, guys. Hey, guys, I'm glad that you're watching the channel. Thank you so much. Please feel free to subscribe, thumbs up, comment. You always watch anyways. You might as well subscribe and um, have a great day.